So in our first discussion, we already discussed uh, the right spherical triangle and uh, the rule or the way on how to solve the right spherical triangle. Now, to understand uh, more about the right spherical triangle and how to solve it, we will be uh, giving a sample problem on the right spherical triangle. So this problem, did the, the figure below is a right spherical triangle where C is equal to 90 degrees, so as shown, and the side C is 47 degrees, the angle B is 76 degrees, so we're required to find the side B, and then after finding the side B, find the angle A. So, uh, para mahanap natin yung side B dito, we'll be using now the Napier Circle and applying the Napier's Rule. So again, Napier Circle, divide natin to into 5 parts. So, gaga yung nag-face sa uh, C, which is the B, C, and A, gagawin natin silang complement, and then B, and then A. So, di sinasama yung right angle sa Napier circle. And then, to to find the side B, so, titingnan ko muna kung ano yung given. So, ang given ay side C na 47 degrees and then yung uh, angle B na 76 degrees. So, therefore, ang gagawin ko dito is the sin cos of rule since Ang given ay yung, ang pinapahanap ay yung side B, and then yung given is the side C and then the angle B. So, by using the sin cos of pool, so it take ko yung B as the middle part. And the opposite part is this the C complement and the B complement. So, so sabi ko sabi sa previous analysis natin, Ang C complement ay, ang A complement, uh, B complement, and then C complement is defined by this, as you see in the right side. So, yung sin cos of rule natin is the sine ng uh, ating napiling middle part na side B is equal to the cosine of the C complement and then the cosine ng B complement. So, sin cos of rule, yung opposite side niya. Thus, um, applying now the rule, so, papalitan ko na yung C complement ng 90 minus C, and yung B complement ng 90 degrees minus angle B. Therefore, magiging ganito na yung solution natin. Sine B is equal to the cosine of 90 minus C times the cosine of 90 minus B. And then this one will become this. Kasi na may given yung C is 47, then yung B is 76. So by simplifying it further, it will become sine B is equal to cosine 43, cosine 14. And to find for the side B, I will be using the uh, inverse sine. And then... That's it. You will you will find now the side B. And the side B is 45.20 degrees. So, nahanap natin yung side B. Ang pinapahanap naman sa atin is kung matapos daw natin hanapin yung, hanapin yung side B, find the angle A. So, to find for the angle A, so, papalitan ko na yung B ng 45.20 degrees sinahanap na natin. Yung pinapahanap naman sa atin is the A. So, papalitan ko yung A complement ng 90 degrees minus A so that I will find the A. And, this, and then, so kung mapapansin nyo, uh, what is the best choice na rule na gagamitin natin so that mahanap natin yung A. So, kung gagamitin kong 
ay yung 5 sub rule ulit, ang opposite side nito is this one and this one, which is wala naman tayong given na A. So, the best choice is to uh, use the sin tan ad rule since ang give, may mga given tayo na adjacent sides nito. Therefore, so applying the sin tan ad rule, uh, since uh, mahanap natin yung A pag ginamit natin yon, so, ito na yung magiging middle part natin. And then, ang gagawin natin uh, adjacent part na is ito, then ito. That is the adjacent part of the 90 degree minus A. So, applying the sin tan ad rule, the sign ng ating middle part, na pili natin is equal to the product of the tangent ng adjacent part, so which is uh, shown here below. And by simplifying it further, papapalitan na yung sin ng 47. So this will become this. And then, uh, 90 minus 47 is 43. And then, to find for uh, A, so, sa co-function identities natin, meron tayong uh, identity na sine of 90 minus the angle is equal to the cosine of the angle. So, applying it here, apply ko siya dito, this will become uh, cosine A is equal to tangent of 43, tangent of 45.20. Thus, uh, para mahanap ko yung A, so, i-inverse ko yung cosine sa right side, and pag inverse ko yung cosine sa kabila, uh, mawawala na yung cosine, and then matitira yung A, is now this. So, A is equal to inverse cosine of the angle. And then, by simplifying it, inputting, inputting it in, uh, typing it in calculator. So, A is now, uh, angle A is now 20.5. Uh, 11 degrees. So, ganun lang naman yung pag-solve ng sa right spherical triangle. So, you have to choose kung alin ba yung kung sin cos of rule ba o kung sin tan ad rule. So, yung choice mo magbe-base ka sa mga given. So, since uh, may mga given na ako dito, so, pwede ko nang mapagpatuloy niya at mahanap ko pa yung side A. But for today, I will not be uh, uh, explaining, uh, solving it further. So just to give you an in, uh, information on how to solve the right spherical triangle. Yun lamang. Uh, thank you.